artichokes. We're back. Still on Goldberg Variation 20. We've been doing this for a long time, but that's what you do when you, you know, do intensive practicing and only a little bit over a long time. It's all about momentum, guys. So uh, I need to redo this. Okay, five minutes on the clock, starting from top of page two. We're working on this fingering here. So my fingering was this. That time it worked. But the reason why I was considering changing this fingering was because when I do this, this part, I often hit the wrong note. So let's play this fast and see if my brain can still do it. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit. Let's play it fast, but with the right rhythm and everything. at the speed that I want to play it at. And then the 
again is up here in the treble area, treble, not treble, and then so you really need to get your head in the game and focus. The downside is that if you get distracted like me walking off to investigate that noise, you've effectively like stopped your um, the ability to focus. Because the ability of fo to focus isn't always like a light switch that immediate on and off. Sometimes it's a steady sink into it and sometimes um, if you stop and then you try to get back into it, it's like your activation energy. You have to get back that activation energy, and it, it's hard to get back into the zone. They do say that, like, for example, when you're interrupted by text messages or emails, it often takes, I don't know how many minutes, but like 15 minutes to get fully back into the task you were doing. So if you're constantly being interrupted, you can never really focus for a long time to get something done, which is not good. But interesting. Psychology is interesting. Okay, scales, G major, start, go. breaking in between. So one more time again. Still a little struggling there. So let's go to 130 and see if that feels more comfortable. What's my volume? There we go. Okay. I'm doing um, pick up to the, so the E, the third note is on the beat. scale 
with the left hand over and over again, you might think that I'm only improving at G major, which to some degree I am, but if I can get my left hand to be more fluent with the G major scale, it will help all the other scales, even though the fingerings are slightly different. But a lot of the finger crossings and things that are tripping me up in this scale, if I can master them, will be applicable to other scales. This is the reason why the specific, you have to learn the specific to get the general underlying principles, but once you have the general underlying principles, you can go back and reapply them to any specific. So, anyways. Sonata, opus two, number one. We are on the, what is this movement? This is the prestissimo, and we're halfway through it. Be very careful not to jigger the tripod feet. There we go, there we go. All right, we play that one. Here, we start on this page. <laughs>
tristissimo. I mean, I didn't start the timer. <laughs> okay, but I did like this pattern here, so keep that in my head. Also known as the relative minor of C sharp, this part. Mm -hmm. 